All right, so I am going to show you all how to use um, my fitness pal. So um, I'm just going to show you this desktop version of it, but you can also download the app and it is very similar to this version of it. So first of all, you'll create a login. Um, I've already created one here, so I'm just going to log in there. And it's going to take me to the home page of my profile. Um, so uh, when you set up an account, it will ask you questions um, like whether you want to lose weight, maintain your weight, or gain weight, um, and then kind of what your goal weight is. And so you'll put that information in, and right here it will give you... Um, like an, a, a summary of how many calories you should be eating um, per day in order to reach your goal. So how this works is you'll, it's like a food log. You will, um, you'll enter in everything you eat for the day, any exercise that you've done, um, and water that you drank or beverages. And so how you will do that is you'll click on food and then say today for breakfast, I had pancakes. So right here, I'm going to click add food and um, right in here, you can search any food um, and you'll notice down here that it has uh, already like a record of recent uh, items that I have entered into my food log so say today I ate pancakes type that in and hit search and you'll see that all of these different tons of different options come up to choose from um, they even have specific pancakes from restaurants, so like Neaters um, or Denny's or IHOP, wherever it is. But let's say today I just had just some buttermilk pancakes. So I'm going to select that, and then it's going to take me to this and ask me how many servings and what, like how much, how much, how many pancakes. So let's say I had one two cup mix of pancakes um, and then I can click over here and see the nutrition information on it it will pull up all the um, nutrition the nutrition label on it um, but let's say I'll add that to my food diary and then you can see right here that it has the pancakes I had 220 calories, and then it breaks it down into carbohydrates, fats, protein, sodium, and sugar. And so I can go through and do that for everything that I've eaten for the day. Um, so for this one, yep, let's say I had a tuna sandwich again today. So I'll just select that one. I had one sandwich, and then let's click on it, and then hit add checked. And I'll add that into my lunch and you can do the same thing for dinner and snacks um, and then you'll just see right here it's keeping track of all my calories and then all of the sources um, that are found in those and then when you're all finished you'll hit complete this entry um, and then you'll notice down here that it also will ask you about water consumption um, so I entered in already previously that I had drank eight cups of water. So that's there as well. So when I'm all finished, I'll complete this um, entry. And obviously since I didn't enter in everything that I had really in today, um, you know, kind of like warn me that I'm way low for the amount of calories that I should be eating and it will recommend that I focus on nutrient rich foods um, in order to get the calories that I am supposed to get. So 
then right up here back at the top, you can click on exercise. Um, and then this same thing will come up similar to the food log. So I can do, I can add in cardiovascular exercise or strength training. So I'll just click on add exercise. And then let's say today I went cycling. I'll just type that in there and hit search. All right, and then again, a lot of options come up. So let's say that I, yeah, I was on a stationary bike, I went to the gym, and I was doing a moderate effort on a stationary bike. So right here, it's going to ask how long I biked for, and this is in minutes. So let's say I biked for one hour. It'll automatically calculate how many calories I've burned during that hour, and then I'll click on add exercise. And then that's also in my log, my exercise log. Um, all right. And then you'll notice down at the bottom, it'll say view full report. So if you click on that, it'll take you to this page. And it will have everything that you've eaten for the day and all the exercise uh, that you've done for the day as well and it will break it down into each category. And so you can see exactly what what you're eating, what you're consuming, how many calories you're intaking versus how many calories you're burning um, through exercise. You can click up here on change report. Let's see. Oh, let's go back here. Oh. Sorry about that. Kicked me off for some reason. All right. So right up here at the top, you can hit reports. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So um, there's a bunch of different reports that you can choose from. Um, so say you just want to see like what your weight is at currently um, in the last week, in the last month, in the last three months. Um, it'll show you, you know, kind of the trend of each day um, as you enter in your weight. And then um, you'll be able to see all the nutrition reports. So let's just click on calories here. It'll, it'll show you each day how many calories you consumed for the day and then what your goal is in order to maintain your weight, lose your weight, or gain weight. And... So that is how you use MyFitnessPal.